apparently uh, you had to sit out three games. He he, he announced that for dis disciplinary reasons. Excuse me. Take the fucking bubble gum yeah. out of my mouth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and it was supposedly over missing uh, being late for a practice. But he said, he contends, <clears throat> Uh, it, that wasn't the only thing. There's more uh, to the situation than Shane O'Brien being late. <clears throat> what? Yeah, you what's definitely were. The more? You, obviously, you're you know, late. What's the more? Yeah. You're obviously late. You started a podcast <laughs> called Missing Curfew. Yeah, yeah. No, so, obviously, you were late. <laughs> yeah. So, Knuckles, I love it, buddy. You're 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 on the ball here. You're on the ball today, fella. I, 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 so listen, uh, Knuckles. I admit a lot when I when I came back to Vancouver. Listen, I was a single kid playing in a Canadian city on a good fucking team. All right. And Yahoo. I enjoyed every single, I enjoyed every <laughs> single second of it. And did I enjoy it too much? Maybe, but that's what motivated me to play hard and, and to fight and to compete and, and whatever. I enjoyed it. So me and AV, like I said, we got off to, a, you know, the, the first thing he said to me was what I told you, but I don't know much about you. Like, you know, I thought, what the fuck is this guy? Right. So our first year goes by, we lose the Hawks. The second year goes by, things are going pretty well. And in his defense, you know, we, we fly home from San Jose on a Saturday night, right? He gives us Sunday off. So we get in too late, Knuckles, that I can't go out on the Saturday night. So I get up Sunday. It's a beautiful day in Vancouver. It's not raining. I'm oh. like, here we go, boys. Let's go hit the patios. <laughs> so I go hit the patios. And we don't play till probably Wednesday or Thursday, but we do have practice on Monday. So I go hit the patios. And at that time, Knuckles, in Vancouver, like it or love it, I, I – Probably loved it. People recognized me, right? So I was bouncing around by myself at this point. The rest of the boys went home, the married boys. I'm bouncing around Vancouver by myself. And I'm going home, and I'm walking past the Roxy, and I said, you know what? I'll go in for one. Let's see what's going on in there. So I go in. I go in for one and go home, fall asleep. Long story short, I don't plug my cell phone in, you know. So my phone dies. I wake up. And I look at my phone, and, and you know when you're like, uh oh. So I got to charge. Now I got to charge it, boys. I don't have a clock in the fucking house. Maybe I went to my TV. Maybe I turned my TV on. I'm like, oh boy. So, anyways, I scramble. My phone comes on. I call the trainer. I said, I'm on my way. I drive to the rink. I get there five, about 10 minutes before the boys are supposed to go on. So I'm putting my gitch on. I'm fucking running in there. And the trainer comes and he said, he doesn't want you to go out there. And I said, fuck him. Let me just practice. And then after practice, if he wants to fucking talk to me or fucking rip me, fine. Just let me go out there and practice with the boys. All right, I'm here. I can get dressed and get on the ice. He said, he's not going on. So he goes, go to the gym, go to the gym, get a workout. So I go in and get a workout and Stan Smeal, he's a beauty. Steamer comes in and he just kind of gives me a pat on the back. I said, fuck, you know, he said. So anyways, like you said about the, 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 the media in Vancouver, obviously is huge. And they asked him about Shane O'Brien. And this is the problem I had, like. You know what? If if you're not happy with me, fine. But don't air, air out our dirty laundry. You know, you could he could have protected me in the media and then said, "Listen, Ops, we're gonna say you have a fucking pulled groin. We're gonna you're not playing the next fucking week. You know, I want you to lose some weight." Buries me in the media. They asked him like ten times. You know, who's Shane? What's going on with Shane O'Brien? I'm not talking about Shane O'Brien. I'm not talking about Shane O'Brien. So suspends me. Turns into a huge thing. Um, yeah, and, and you know what, Knuckles. I, I, yeah, after that, oh, we had they our don't best. Let it go, right? They don't let it go. The they media. don't let it go. No. After that suspension, I came back and I had a talk with AV. It was the best talk we had in two years. And I said to him, why didn't we have this conversation a year ago? Why did it take this to finally, and our relationship has been great ever since that.